What? I did it already. Come on. All right. Everybody get there. Yay. Camera time. Yay. Margarita, Margarita. All right. It is the Joe Zamudio 58th birthday celebrity oh roast yes. with your host, Alvin Zamudio. Yay. And special guests, which of course is all of you people. And now, because the charges were dropped, your host, Alvin Zamudio. Oh. Thank you. 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 Thank we, of course, wanted many, many more people to be here, but there simply is not enough parking and not enough beer. Not to mention that many of whom were invited tonight declined at the advice of their attorneys. But nonetheless, here we are, and here we begin. So sit back and enjoy the roast. He's a man with wit and charm as profound as his past is checkered. He has abilities that are off the charts because they stop recording them once you get under a certain IQ. He has a model personality which has become an invaluable resource to the world of psychiatry. He's got a style all his own because no one else wants it. He's in a class all by himself because everyone else has already graduated. And no matter how hard people try, no one who meets him can ever forget him. I'm speaking, of course, of the man of the hour, unless we can make it a little shorter. One of God's favorite mistakes, wanted in four states, my beloved brother, Joseph. All right. Okay. A little background. Um, Jose Jesus Samudio Jr. was born 58 years ago today here in St. Louis to our parents, Jose Sr. and Florinda. That was 58 years ago today. That's more than half a century, Joe. Which begs the question, which was the better half? The first part of the century or the second half? <laughs> all right, all right. And despite, the, and despite the advice of all the doctors and staff at the hospital on that special day, Mom and, dis, Mom and Dad still decided to bring him home. There awaiting him were my two oldest sisters, Irma and Olga. And I'm sure the moment they laid eyes on him, they both knew their lives were changed forever. But sadly, there was nothing they could legally do about it at the time. What? My family moved Sorry. It's all right. It'll, it'll be fine. You won't even remember it. My family moved a lot when Joe was born, but to his credit, he always found them. It was, it was said of him that he had a face that only a mother could love, but Mom denied that in a public statement in 1974. I remember that. You know, in school, Joe was voted most likely to return. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Joe's a generous man. He's always willing to share everything he knows with anyone who has 10 seconds to spare. And now that my father has passed away, Joe can make the unique claim that he is the only person on the planet whose bald spot can be seen from outer space. <laughs> but seriously, Joe, we're all proud of you for choosing to be yourself instead of wanting to have friends. <laughs> all right. So here are some of Joe's accomplishments, and of course we've got more coming. So what can I say about my big brother Joe's life? Well, I have a few things. Few can claim to have done as much in their life as my brother Joe has. In fact, few people would claim to even know anything Joe has done for fear of legal liability. <laughs> but seriously, he's a man of service. He served his country in the military. He served his city in the police force. He also served in Christian ministry. And he's even served a few jail sentences. <laughs> he is a son, a brother, a father, and an ex-husband two times over. He's worked as a limo driver, a factory worker, trying to get all the research that I could, and many other jobs, but if we know anything about Joe, we know him as a salesman. Even Einstein, in his greatest moment, could never come up with an equation to explain how Joe could get $20 out of someone for something they already owned. It's a miracle of science and need. Joe's contributed to science in other ways, too. He was the subject of an experiment to discover the shortest passing of time. Many of you might not have known this. It turns out it was the time between when Joe stops by for a visit or drops mom off after taking her out for the day and has to leave for another appointment. <laughs> Gotta go. You caught on to that, huh? <laughs> yeah, we didn't want to let you know. Joe is his own man also, as an entrepreneur, as many of you might know. He runs his own business, which comes with many benefits, like job security because anyone else would have fired him by now. 
As his own boss, he's an innovator too. He single-handedly redefined business, casual, to include flip-flops and a t-shirt. I don't know if many of you know that. Joe also loves to drive. I don't know if many of you know that or not. He's owned enough cars to prove it. When Joe, when Joe comes by, you just never know what kind of car will end up in your driveway, sometimes for months at a time. It wouldn't start, okay? That's what tow trucks are for, Joe. It's been, it's been said that it takes 21 days to make a habit. When Joe started smoking, he had it down in 21 seconds. <laughs> Joe smokes so much, he makes chimneys insecure. I'll wait for that one. It's so bad that when St. Louis County proposed the countywide public smoking ban for this year, it was suggested just to ban Joe instead, as it would have cut down on secondhand smoke pollution in the metro area by 65%. And lastly, because i got to make room for other people, on my list of Joe's accomplishments is, of course, his title as Casanova to the women. Sorry, ladies, tonight the shirt stays on, right, Joe? That's right. Even it's a nice shirt. You won't want to take it off anyway. Yes, even, uh, even after going through two wives, there's still a little bit of ex-wife in every woman that Joe meets. He never loses his touch. He never fails to get each and every one of them to look him right in the eye and say those three little words. Take a hike. <laughs> in fact, at this point in Joe's life, the only woman that could probably handle him is Hurricane Irene. <laughs> and unless you hop in one of your cars right now and head off to the East Coast, I think you're going to lose that chance. <laughs> Alright, you still staying around? Oh yeah. Okay, good. Alright, and so... I have an appointment in your middle, go ahead. <laughs> and so tonight we're gathered here to roast uh, Joe with a marinade of fine humor, memories, and love. And it's going to be open to anyone, but we do have some that have said they're going to be sharing. Tonight's guests have come from all over St. Louis in the hopes of showing their affections that they might persuade Joe to finally pay back some of the money that they owe him and maybe even move further out of town. <laughs> Among them, of course, are Joe's immediate family. Though our late father, Joe Zamudio Sr., and our sister Norma are not here in the flesh, we, of course, they know they're here in the spirit. And lucky for them, they don't have to read a script and try to be funny, right, guys? <laughs> our mom is here with us over 80 years and counting very slowly so that she can stay with us as long as we can keep her. It was hard to get mom to come out of her room tonight, even for this occasion, because she is so infatuated with her new live-in boyfriend that cooks everything for her wow. in her room. You might know him. His name is George Foreman. And I bought that for him. Our oldest sister, Irma, who has to be reminded to bring her medical insurance card to every family vacation. Our sister, Olga, who legally deals drugs at a pharmacy, who doesn't use them herself, even though God gave her four boys with Hoover's blood in them. My older brother, David, who is the only person in the world that can claim to have actually had more jobs than my brother, Joe. And yours truly, your host tonight, Alvin Zamudio, the baby of the family, who still has no idea what I do for a living, but I do it every day anyway. So, without further ado, we're going to open it up to anyone else who would like to share. I know some of us have some things written. We also have a, a special guest via satellite that's going to come in tonight as well. So, who would like? Who would like to go? Who would like to go first? I would. All right, what? ladies and gentlemen. David. 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 Keep it short, will you? <laughs> applause! Applause! Joe and honored guests. I see you too, Joe. And I want to say that I had I've been keeping this like in a safe for a long time because this is a great opportunity to show it. But there's some you know some very uh, picture, uh, I guess you call them uh, sensitive pictures of us when we were younger. Joe probably doesn't know about. I remember my daughter's here. Okay. No, not that kind of sensitive. Oh. But so, some little known things I wanted to just share it with you because. The uh, oh, with him with this, would you hope? Glasses. It's been a while since I read this. Oh yeah, this is from 1966, the early years. I'm gonna share it with you first, though, so you can have it. send it around, you know, to the uh, rest of the family while we get started. But Joe and I always got a lot of, uh, well, we had a lot of, you can pass around, had a lot of experiences together when we were younger. We had a big family, his friend. Animals, stuff like that. Uh, between our, our fights and squabbles and troubles as young kids and stuff like that, but I never held anything back, you know. 
I already told him I thought. And uh, this is not enough an exception. I'm telling the same to his face. But uh, I would like to share this bit of image with you because it's probably what you've never seen before. And this other one that I think is very, very touching. It's 1967, and I entitled this uh, In La Cocina. This is what uh, uh, was taken when we were younger. Mom, Mom treated all of her children, right over here. Here, hold the it same, up. No matter up how, hold it up. Oh, my God. First. Mom treated all of her children the same, no matter what their difference is. Uh, Floating the mom with sons David, left and Joe, hanging it up in a picture, uh, taking in our kitchen and drinking it. Which one am I? I got it on the bottom, so it which one's left and right. Which one am I? This one? That was the one that needs to shave. That looks like a monkey. Can I see it? Yeah. Every good at glasses. So we always admired Mom for being that way, so open up. Oh, this one! She recognized her right away. Yeah. Mom got the monkey. Somebody burned out. I got muddy. And the good thing is, Joe didn't have to wear a collar for long. Grandma was really good at training animals. In fact, we had an aunt that caught a rabbit in our backyard. Remember? The tia Mela? The tia Mela. The first time I ever heard anybody could catch a rabbit, a wild rabbit. They want to get the rabbit? Yeah, she caught a wild rabbit in our backyard. And we put it in our wild rabbit. It's crazy. But that was our family. Is that the only copy of that? Joe hasn't seen that one in the backyard. I always... It always touches my heart when I see that one because it's really? a little <laughs> short amount of time that Joe and I didn't get to spend together when there was nobody else around. Because he had a big family, his friends, animals, stuff like that. So it was just us together back there in Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe with younger brother, David. Enjoy it. You gotta cool. put those up on the wall. Oh, can we put those on the wall? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, David, did you remember the one that. No. Did you remember no. me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys aren't laughing at those pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's funny. That's all I got. 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 Next up, who's next up? Oh. Next up, my sister Irma. We have an ambulance standing by just in case. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our older sister Irma. 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 Yeah, Irma. Oh. Sorry, that was fake. Okay. There we go. Applause again. Yeah. I'll try to do what I can. Thank you, Alan. Joe, happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, and you know I love you. Yep. Okay. As long as we get that straight. Oh, no. It's gonna be tough, oh, Joe. You better figure it out. Oh my gosh, you got the tissue. Tissue. Now, I'm gonna get that card. So it's yeah. 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 Right. 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 You gotta be ready for this Serious. one. Right? Okay. Yeah, how much did you write? You better be just one page, just one page. You better be able to prove all this, Irma. Alright. No, no problem. I got uh, siblings here who can back this up. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, first of all, I gotta start out with uh huh? I said amen. 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 I gotta start out with something that that, that I saw lately on the uh, Super Roasting Joe, uh, the Bonanza. Everybody remember the Bonanza? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And everybody oh, remembers yeah. Hop Sing, Hop Sing, you know, blue. Yeah. Uh huh. The, the cook, you know. That's really good. Hello, little, little brother, little Joe. Hello, little Joe. Yeah. I don't do his accent very well, but this is little. This is Hop Sing. Hello, little Joe. When you and Mr. Ben coming back to Ponderosa. Hop Sing cooked very fine dinner five years ago. <laughs> no can keep dinner warm much longer. <laughs> okay. Let's yeah, start out with Hop Sing there. Okay. We like little Joe. Good job, everyone. Yeah. Okay, I remember, I remember uh, Joe. Joe, and I think Olga, David, you might remember this too. I know you were Olga. Scum. <laughs> it's the predator. Was that Joe? Or? It's the predator. <laughs> Watch your back. Excuse me. Watch your back. We got a special guest. No more coronas. I remember. Okay. <laughs> don't don't, don't, don't <laughs> pay attention to the predator. I remember Joe was into exercise at a very young age. <laughs> what? Mom, mom, you're gonna remember this. Mom used to chase Joe around the house, around, the, around and around. We'd sit there and watch Joe, just to give That's Joe right. a spanking or something. 
and he also showed an interest in the piano once. Again, once. <laughs> running, running for more exercise, I guess. This time, he was running from me and Olga. Uh, actually, he was chasing us, I think. But anyway, uh, she got a hold of him, and she taught Joe what it felt like to hit the piano leg with his head. <gasps> then we bolted into our family, into the, our favorite room, the bathroom, to hide out. We had a special furnace right there. We would prop our leg up on there and lock the door, and Joe would bing, bing. <laughs> I think I remember that. <laughs> Yeah. Remember that, Og? Yep. He also trained, Joe, you remember this? He also trained for the Olympics by practicing to throw curtain rods at our neighbor's kids. Oh. He, he, he got one once. Oh. Chris Stone? Poor Chris. That, that actually, it was a spear. It yeah, was a spear, yes. Yeah, that was a spear. Yeah. I thought it was a curtain rod, sorry. This one I'll never forget. Oh my God. This one I'll never forget. Yeah. Joe, you know I love better. you. I guess I felt sorry for Joe. Little Joe. <laughs> Because I took him along with me. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I know what this is. When a friend of mine took us to the Mexican hall no. just to hang out. Oh As we sat and hung out, Joe wanted his jacket. He said he was cold. I was. <laughs> it was Carlos's car, his brand new oh. Oh. yellow, pretty Volkswagen. Well, Carlos gave him the keys. After a while, <laughs> Carlos and I sat there hanging out and we wondered, where's Joe? <laughs> so we finally got up and went out and looked and he didn't see his car up there. <laughs> where's my car? Joe left us stranded in Fairmont, Illinois for a joy ride. Was I embarrassed. <laughs> Good job, Joe. You ever wow. with him again? Yeah, we were friends. So yeah, he, he, he forgave you. All in all, <laughs> All in all, I have to say, you've been through lots in your life, Joe, and I'm proud of how you've come through so many obstacles, only to succeed. You've helped me through many of mine, and you still are. Honestly, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have a brother like you. May God bless you and all your future plans, and keep you strong. I love you mucho, mucho, mucho. Your oldest sister, no pun intended, Irma. All right, next up, Pamela oh Jardilla, you won't get in trouble for hanging out with. That would be my sister, I love you, Olga Lido. <laughs> okay, that's, that's all I get. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> well, as uh, Alvin alluded earlier, <laughs> Joe. Uh, Considered herself a ladies' man. <laughs> as, as, long as, I can, as long as I can remember, Joe has always thought of himself as a lady killer. <laughs> if it wasn't Cindy Wood, it was Mary Bannister. Uh oh, I remember her. Remember? Mm -hmm. Heard that? So do we. They, they had to be the ugliest girls in there. <laughs> well, look at that! Oh my God! It was dark that night. Dang, that hurt. Oh, this, this is getting bad. We got to turn the heat down. Hey, I don't want to bro. Hey, get the kids out. Get the kids out. No, no, it's all good. They did have one thing in common that stands out to me. Acne. You remember that? You remember that? Yeah. Keep doing the Corona. Yeah, I remember that. Give me two. And it wasn't long before Joe started checking out his own raza. Okay. Remember lovely Rita? The song? Rita Rios? Oh, yeah. Well, she, she was really nice. <laughs> she was ugly, too. <laughs> she was really nice. She was really she, nice. She was nice. <laughs> and uh, you were always so sweet to make her feel, you know, comfortable that, that you give her a, a Kleenex because she sweated. Her palms were always oh. wet. <laughs> she always had a, a Kleenex like this, right? Remember? Right, always. Always. Yeah, poor Mary. She was just like... Probably broke and sometimes that. you even just hand her a towel. Remember that? Yeah, I never got that towel bad either. Yeah. yeah. Well, <clears throat> and weren't you all also known as the Frito Bandito in school? What? Yeah. I don't think so. Maybe it was just a Bandito. Get it? <laughs> anyway. Put on Yes. Put on Yeah. I gotta say though, even to this day, if there is a single lady around, 
<laughs> you waste no time <laughs> in getting appointed. <laughs> Ten seconds. She wastes no time. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of years, a lot of years have gone past us, good and bad, happy and sad. But one thing I can truly say about Joe today is that if you, if I need him for anything, and that, and for that matter, if any of my family needs him for anything, he's there. The boys need for anything. I know I can count on him like to help me out. Um, after all, they did pull him out of the yard when he got stuck in the mud. <laughs> after he was told not to go that way, he went anyway, and he got his car stuck in the mud. That's okay. <laughs> and when when uh, my son Joe was in the hospital last year. Joe made a point to bring mom, and he, you know, and when I was ever in the hospital, Joe would always come and, and see me visit, and you know, that meant a lot to me, Joe. I don't know if I told you that or should never do that. Yeah, I just, but I want you to know how much I love you, how much my boys love you, my family loves you, and um, thank God we have a, a forgiving God that, uh, you know, forgives us of our stupid mistakes because God knows we all continue to make them. Not just you yourself. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Good job. Alright, that's all you get. Thank you, Olga. <clears throat> Alright, 58 years. Did I mention it was half a century when I made my school? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. So. Half a century. <laughs> you don't got to cover that again. 58 years. <laughs> okay, so uh, who do we have? Uh, anybody else that's one? What? 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 Oh, we need another beer. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, yeah. sure, I'll get the music going. And now, Irma Brable's uh, better half, or depending on how you look at it, other half. <laughs> Donald Brable, otherwise known as Go ahead. Yo. It's going to be bad. Anybody who's ever met you, <laughs> wish they did. It's a Bravel Rose. Joe is a young man. He Thank you. Thank you. joined the Army. 16 years. And everybody knows when you join the Army, you have to go to the range and you have to use guns and stuff to get your marksman's medal. Well, Joe was the only one in his class that got his medal for slingshot. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he was the only one in the troop. They wouldn't let him bunk with anybody else. <laughs> Joe's the only guy I know it makes Frosty the Snowman look anorexic. <laughs> what is he turning into? <laughs> it's too late, you missed it. Oh. <laughs> it's all in fun. Right. Okay, okay. Check your tires for you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> all you, all you guys out there. You guys have muscle shirts? No. Oh, it's empty. Yes. Well, you show them off. Joe's the only guy I know that has a muscle shirt that got cut out of here. <laughs> Boy, is that a muscle. Where's the quit recording? <laughs> hey, you're shaking. Well, there's Back three. Out. There's three going. Why is she laughing so hard? I <laughs> have a hard time watching it. <laughs> Joe's got a nice shirt here. They had a hard time finding that. You know what I found it? Cabela's tent sale. <laughs> Well, that's all I got to say about you. It's not enough. <laughs> oh, oh. I remember when Joe used to work for him. Oh, boy. <laughs> One little mistake. He's the only guy I know that can sucker punch you in the kidneys. And this is some people's house. <laughs> Turned around to go get him, and he's screaming and crying like a little baby jumping over furniture. <laughs> Lo and behold, the woman at the house comes home. Sees him bouncing off 
his their furniture. What do you use got? Oh my God! I couldn't believe this. It's a lifetime time I work for you too. <laughs> he, he, yeah. He was say Joe was fired. <laughs> he still me a check. <laughs> I think it bounced too. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm done. Thank you. I don't know if that door's open. Thank you, Katie. All right, David's better half. Joanne's a movie now. Yay! Alvin, oh, okay. music. Music. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they don't do it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Applause. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's all you get. They didn't do it like that on the DVD. Oh, man, you're too late. Well, I just want to say that Joe's my brother. Yeah. I'm sorry. So, thank you. Thank you. you know, and one experience that I've had with Joe, that unfortunate trip that we all made to Texas last year, when y'all made me sit in the back seat of the car for 24 hours. Well, oh, I saw Joe like this. <laughs> Driving for 24 hours. He did not move his hands. I was in the front seat. Did you wear sunglasses? <laughs> I was just kidding. Yeah, he did. Like what would Joe do? Hours. Every every so often, what would Joe do? <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember Dad used to do that. Yeah. Uh, he would 24 hours, I'm in the back seat. Like, and every like 45 minutes, we'd stop. Because Joe was getting my older brother. You know what he had to do? Like that. I had diarrhea, okay? So. <laughs> it's like, that's why he's doing this. So, I just want to say, like, on a semi serious note, She's coming. that uh, She's coming. today's Joe's birthday, and I feel like in you, Joe, that I was given a brother. And my own brother that was born on the same day has passed away, and that was God's little way to, like, let me know I still have a brother. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Speedy's coming to the park. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. What time is it? What time is it? <laughs> I want a piece of that, too. I'm going to make it Look over there. Wait, this let's... is the only guy I know that has his own solar panel built in. <laughs> Somebody get a notepad. I like that's a good one. I want to write that one. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, that's good. All right, we're going to open up for anyone else. Kristen. Oh, and we have a special oh, guest that's coming oh, up. Oh, 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 one time when I was, I don't know, probably like 10, I guess, or 11, and uh, we were, me, Matthew, and Amy were coming from my mom's house, and we were going to my dad's apartment, and it was right down the street, the bike. <laughs> it was right down the street, so we were walking, and uh, dad had this bike, so he told me I could ride it, so I started riding it, and I was like, oh, where's the brakes at, or something like that, and I tapped the brakes, and I flipped over the front <gasps> of the bike, and then the bike landed on me. And he was like, oh, I was going to tell you, don't hit the brakes like that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, nice. that hurt, but I forgave him. And, oh, and I meant always, to tell her. <laughs> he's always been there for me. And um, then there was another time where he uh, used to do these pepper sprays and would teach women <laughs> to defend themselves. This is oh. good. And, um, it worked against them then. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I quit selling them. <laughs> so we were going to like, help these like women defend themselves. And well, actually, I should back up. Before that, I had uh, broke my arm when I was riding my bike. Not the one that, you know, Dad let me ride, but a different one. <laughs> and uh, I broke my arm, and so I had my arm in a sling. And Dad had gotten shot, and so he had his arm in a sling. <laughs> so we both were going wounded to teach these women how to defend themselves. <laughs> and we both had, you know, our arms in slings. And so then we are showing these women, and he was showing me the pepper spray, too, because he wanted me to be able to defend myself. And little did he tell me, he didn't show me that, um, I have to be careful when I spray the pepper spray that it's on my fingers 
So I rubbed my eyes and I had got pepper spray all in my eyes. And it was very painful and I was oh, screaming and running around and See, there's where the slingshot thing comes from. Slingshot. That thing slingshot. she's talking about, we sold 25 of them that day. <laughs> so I've had a lot of good memories, but when I've always needed him, he's always been there. And um, so that's it. Yay! Anybody else? John! Yeah. Well, everyone knows I'm John. Don't write right. John! Yay! Yeah. 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 Happy birthday. Thank you. I just want to say, uh, that was a memory I had a uh, long time ago. I forgot how old I was, I think 13 or 14. And we played Battleship together. Oh back in the house. <laughs> I remember I won that game. Yeah. You yeah. But, uh, I, came to, I came to the conclusion that, you know, his body just rejects intelligence. But then. <laughs> it started no, listen, listen. It's, 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 it started bugging me because. He started going bald, like anything, his body was just anything close to intelligence, and, and you know, his hair is pretty close, um, and it just perplex, perplexed me, like, you're, you can go bald, because if your body rejects intelligence, <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's the only thing that per perplexed me about that. that I don't know what perplex means. <laughs> Case in point. Don't worry about it. We'll get him a tutor. John, we'll get him a tutor. Wait do you see your back. Your sister's coming up and here's the music. Uh, wait, hang on. We're in a road trip. Sorry. Thank you, Happy birthday. Thank you. I can give some credit to my Uncle Joe for helping me get my job at Helper's Pastries and Deli Cafe. There we go. He comes in up from time to time. You know, he does their website and stuff. So I, I started there, and then I started to get to know everyone that worked there, and the chef, Art, and he, you know, and he, he told me a little something about Joe that he, he said that <laughs> we have features we do every week. We have like a feature in the bakery and a feature in the deli. You know, we do a sandwich and we do like a pastry, you know, a feature. So Uncle Joe here has a sandwich named after him. And oh, it's actually that. called the Sloppy Joe. <laughs> And Chef Art told me that they even put a little cumin in there, you know, to make it give it the Mexican kick and all that. So. And a little hat. I, I thought that was He's a celebrity. Has he got pieces of flip flops in it? Yeah. Well, he does have his, his picture in the cake book also on a cake. But oh, anyway. Wow. How's that selling? Yeah, how's that selling? I haven't once since I've been there. But anyway. The health department shut that line down really fast. Really I think that has a red X. <laughs> That's a warning, anyway. honey. That's poison. <laughs> anyway, so I went home because I thought that was a little funny about the sloppy Joe, you know. So this has to do with my dad again. So oh, I, no. I came home and I was talking to my dad about work and telling him about the work day. And I said, oh, yeah, do you know that uh, Joe's got a sandwich named after him? It's called the, the sloppy Joe. And he starts laughing. He goes, the sloppy Joe? They should have called it the barber. <laughs> <laughs> Put that suggestion in because I figured they let's just keep it this long. Maybe one day they'll run that feature while I'm actually working there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyway, thanks for helping me get there. Joe, you're definitely the gift that keeps on giving. Some people try to return it, but we won't talk about that. Tonight. All right, anybody else? Anyone else? Okay, if not, we can bring our special oh, guest. Oh, 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 Speedy. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. The only guy I know is dot, dot, dot. Is Speedy's parole officer hey. anywhere around? <laughs> hey, I didn't hit him that There's hard. There's got to be a limit to this. I didn't hit him that hard. <laughs> He's at every party. Happy birthday, Joe. I love you. <laughs> What's the oh, what are you waiting for? You're looking at me like I'm going to kill you or something. What's the catch? What a hug? Yeah, give me a hug. Oh. 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 Thank you. Okay, uh, before we close up, we're going to have one more special guest that uh, could not make it tonight. Yeah. I'm going to introduce you, okay? Yeah. Go for it. All right. Our, our oh, this is awesome. It's a bad omen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
Uh, Olga's, uh, Olga and Goober's youngest son, Mark, could not make it tonight uh, in the flesh because Elena was sick. He's here. So he's here via uh, Sprint Network or something. Wow. Via telefono. Right. Hey, para ustedes. It's like that. So now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, hang on. Do you put it up here? Yeah, we can, do I got to do the music? Oh, yeah. Do the music. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Mark Lytle. Mark, go ahead. You're on the air. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. All right, go um, ahead. Yeah, sorry I couldn't be there, but um, I didn't want to come after I found out Joe was invited. <laughs> I never did like you. Hey, a real quick, how, how old is Joe? Uh, we don't really know. We think it's 58, but he's denying it. Okay, 58, wow. Uh, hey, I, uh, Uncle Joe is so old that that his blood type is be careful. <laughs> Somebody jot that down. Somebody write that down. Um, yeah, I told my mom a couple of the jokes that I was going to say to the aunt, and uh, she said, uh, don't embarrass them. And I said, Mom, how do you embarrass a grown man who brings the child game battleship to parties with him? <laughs> He's bitter because I beat him. <laughs> That's the second nephew you beat. <laughs> Candyland for special occasions? What? Not to mention that you just bring battleship, but you're no good at it either. <laughs> it's, it's no wonder that Joe has been divorced twice. It's because no woman wants to be married to a man who still wants to sleep in the race car bed. A oh, race car bed? That's the that. I oh, race car bed. <laughs> You got it. Go on. What's the problem? Okay, great. I actually thought it was just because he was gay. <laughs> you called him, dude. <laughs> Which I'm right. <laughs> Uncle Joe is so gay that one time he went to a party and Richard Simmons was there. And Richard Simmons seen him walk in. And Richard Simmons said, hey, who invited the queer? <laughs> I remember that day. <laughs> I, actually, I actually think I might have had something to do with uh, his, his second divorce um, because when I was talking to um, his last wife, you know, I said, what do you like the most about Joe? And she said, well, he told me he's uh, very artistic. And I said, I, I think you misunderstood him. I think he said he's very autistic. <laughs> Are you done yet? Or? <laughs> oh, 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 no. Let's <laughs> just get started. You got nowhere to be. <laughs> okay. Oh, and, and I did I did think of this, too. Uh, you know, tell me if I'm the only one who thinks this, but doesn't Uncle Joe look like a cross between Ron Jeremy and Super Mario? <laughs> Super Mario was um, an illegal alien, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Uncle Joe does like to drink um, a lot of alcohol. Uh, he always shows up to parties with, uh, with Battleship and uh, three Coronas for himself. <laughs> uh, and Elena asked me, she's like, um, you know, just, is he like an alcoholic? Does he have to, you know, drink just the coke? And I said, no, no, he only drinks to uh, come down off the cocaine. <laughs> Oh, well, I didn't say that. I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys can't talk about how uh, Joe used to work with Uncle Speedy, and he helped Veronica a job. And I don't, I didn't know Uncle Joe worked. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was retired. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> I said that wrong. I don't even know if he makes money. That's why I made it. <laughs> like, what is the difference between Uncle Joe and Four Quarters? And what? Four quarters. And four quarters. Four quarters? What's that? Four quarters can actually make a dollar. <laughs>
Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's probably just about it for me. All right. Some other stuff that is extra. Sorry to hear that. I don't think I see Grandma there. Yeah, Grandma's yeah, here. Yeah, Grandma's here. Okay. She's yeah, got yeah. tears in her eyes. <laughs> but she, it was funny, though, at the last uh, family function, Grandma asked me if it was too late for her to afford Uncle Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, that wasn't that funny. <laughs> no time like the what? Uh, never say never. He was kidding. He was right. kidding, Mom. You got anything else? And I, I put the three hundred dollars under the table to do it. What? Um, I'm assuming she hasn't done it yet. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, but yeah, no, that's uh, that's probably it for me. So, um, Uncle Joe, the uh, pleasure was all of you first. Um, happy birthday. Um. That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mark. Hey, Mark, thanks, right. Mark, thank you for calling, and you're not my favorite anymore. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Mark. That's awesome. Right, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Okay, we're good? Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, thank you, everyone. What? Oh, it's been <laughs> great stuff. Thank you, everyone, who shared tonight. And from the bottom of my heart, I think it's time to move on. Just kidding. Uh, seriously though, tonight is Joe's night, and uh, we do have yeah we have presents. We have plenty of stuff. We just got really honestly, we just got started. Uh -huh. Everyone is welcome to be here tonight. We got food and drink. We still got fajitas left, uh, but we just have one thing before you go. Do you want to get the ready for the? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't say anything oh, about him until he. Hangs don't say up. nothing. Yeah, yeah, don't say nothing until he hangs up. Yeah. You don't want to call his lawyer. Mark, yeah. you still there? All right, yeah, uh, Joe. Listen, all right. Okay, here we go. I don't know, uh, Joe. I hope you're having a great time. Oh yeah. I'm sure you oh, have, yeah. had a good time. Can't wait till next year. I hope you're very surprised because we're never going to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> we can't. Family can't handle it. We might do it again, but for a different family member. Well, I just wanted. I wanted to let Joe know we all wanted to get together to get a special gift for him. We just couldn't find a yamako that had hair on it. <laughs> So instead, what he's going to settle for is Irma's special Mississippi mud cake. And let's all join together in singing Happy Birthday to Joe. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, dear Joe. There is such a thing as fire it, code, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> and we have children in this house. Oh. All right. Anyway, go ahead blow up the candles, make your wish. Make a wish? Yeah, yeah sure, if you want. Yeah. Yeah. If you think I'll come through. We're going to sing We're going to sing Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't gonna change yeah. anything. <laughs> Go ahead. You asked me to make a wish, and uh, you want to turn around so right. you're not supposed to say what your wish looks is. Looks like 85. You better turn around. There you go. 50. Is that 85? Feels like 85. Like younger now. Not what it feels like. It's what it really is. Okay. Okay. My wish is that obviously you know my loved ones, everybody's here, and here you are, so that's come true. Thank you all. Yeah. There you go. Blow. Blow. Yeah. It's a special gift from film. Irma that's very fitting. Irma's feet. Very fitting. Very fitting. Yeah, you might want to open that before you shut the cameras off. Just open it. Thank you. They're all going to love this. Our cards over there. We have other cards to give. Before we shut the cameras off, thank you everyone for helping me. I still get to say something, don't Oh, yeah, that's right. Joe's going to say something. I didn't get to say nothing, but I'll open it. I totally forgot. Okay, go ahead. Why don't you open it, and then Joe's going to have his final words, then we'll close it up. This is very fitting gift for tonight's comments. Okay? I didn't realize how well that worked in. Wow. I didn't either. That looks fancy. Oh, I bet. He's <laughs> <laughs> actually working. Uh, Four quarters. Four quarters. <laughs> it's battleship. <laughs> yes. We want to play. <laughs> All right. 
Perfect. 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 Perfect.